Tuesday the 17th of March. It has been far too long because life got in the way. But we are going I to have do... A cough. He has a cough. I we can't are, go to school. We are self-isolating um, due to the fact that he has a cough and the current rules here in the UK due to COVID-19 is that if you have a new or persistent cough, the time. entire household has to self-isolate. It's time today. Shh, hang on, I haven't finished talking. So, we are self-isolating. Yes. We didn't have anything to do. So I said to Daryl, let's do a video. So he said, yeah, it's, we're up for that. It's so... Time, it's time today in my boo journal. It's time for today in my boo journal. So... So... How are you? How are you? How are you? Are you all right? Are you all good? I have no makeup on. My psoriasis has gone absolutely freaking nuts. So I've just cleaned my face and put some cream on and hopefully that will help it a little bit. But um, yeah, we we are, we are, we are not touching things. Go away. <laughs> Daryl, I just said don't touch, didn't I? Was I was trying to do some. No, go on, off you go. Um, so yeah, we're at home. We're not allowed out for the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. I mean, that two weeks is up. He can go back to school on the Tuesday. And then on the Friday, they break up for Easter. That's if the schools are still open. I personally don't think they will be. Um, lots of other countries throughout the world have closed due to COVID-19. Um, go on, off you go. Um, so, yeah, I've got a feeling that we may end up closing before Easter. And we might as well just no. stay closed for the entire rest of this school year, really. I mean, I'm very, very lucky. He's only five. I can keep him occupied pretty much at home. He can run up and down. We've got the garden. When the weather gets a little bit warmer, we can get out there. But, you know, there and are kids... Play. And play. But there are kids this year who are supposed to be doing their exams. They're leaving school exams. Um, here in England, it's GCSE and A-levels. Um, in the US, I, d I don't know what you call it. But, um, you know, there's, there's... I feel really bad for them. I feel really bad for the kid. You know, they've got enough stress on their plate as it is. And now, all of a sudden, schools might well be closing um i know that a lot of schools in the us have already closed italy um you know all of that they're all closed and it's it's scary yeah. it's frightening so what have i been doing well i haven't i haven't done today in my boudin for so so long my god it has been so long since i've seen you i've missed you what have i i've been missed doing? you all so what i'm gonna give you a quick run through okay a mid-month flip through yeah so what this is my cover page as you remember this was my tracker and i'm loving the smaller tracker that i've been doing now um this month and february the only thing was i wrote my numbers the wrong way which i was a bit annoyed about so it now means that my day face create i started in the middle of working my way out instead of out working in and every day i have to remind myself you're starting from the middle and working your way out that's what i was doing every day i was trying to be good but then something strange happened of like my mom told me because Mum and Isis was on patrol. We were on patrol, me and the dog. Yeah, and then... To make sure there were no bad guys. And then the dog saw some bad guys and she scared them away like this. <laughs> My Instagram tracker. Yeah, I've not kept up with that either. It's been a week since I actually Wee, posted bye -bye. any of my spreads. So I'm yeah. going to do this massive Daddy. Instagram catch-up type post, I think, because I haven't posted my new week 12 well i don't think i've actually set up my new week i haven't set that's this week as you can see we haven't set that up so we need to do that yeah we need to do that i might throw in an extra live tonight i don't know i might put this one out early just to like confuse you all and then might do a live tonight just to get this week set up and then tomorrow night when we do my regular live to get next week set up yeah might do so i haven't set up new, i haven't posted new week to i haven't posted the completed week 10 which was uh, that week. Um, I haven't posted new stuff. I haven't posted finished that. So I've got a lot of stuff which I could get posted and get up on Instagram. I haven't pulled a card since the 12th. Yeah, we're really not doing I'm good. Right here. Um, yeah, so I haven't done my mood and my pain trackers since the 14th. So I've got yesterday and the day before to do on that there's my this is about the only one that i have been keeping up with is this one <laughs> but again i am i didn't touch my journal yesterday so i am behind on everything um so yeah where are we at well yeah so do you want to see my journal 
don't see my journal. Let's see what I've been doing. And I see. My journal's really taken off. So this was the end of last month. Uh, my daughter got engaged. And I, I used a bit of this. This is, yes, I know. Um, this is from a scrubby. You know, you, you, those net things that are tied up um, that you wash yourself with? It's hanging. You can't see it because it's so pale. But it's actually, um, it fell apart. So I washed it and it's hanging off of a curtain rail that's above my door. And I just used a bit of that for background, which I really, really liked. This was my go of printing on um, sticker paper. And it came out all right, but it was dark. So I think for in future, if I use the sticker paper, I mean, I did print one thing up the other day. Could you stop with the fingers, please? Um, of Alex um, doing it. And it came out so, so dark. That was it on sticker paper. And then I printed it. Uh, that was it on regular paper so you can see it's a lot darker now i don't know whether it's because it's matte or whether it's because it's you know um different kind of paper i don't know this is something i need to experiment with um yeah i was sick of the rain so i posted that i was sick of the rain uh just a bit of journaling um i, mean, I, I was actually online with you guys when this happened if you check out my live for the 26th of um, February, my daughter's boyfriend turned up and um, I hadn't muted the camera. So the entirety of YouTube, well, actually, those of you that were watching, actually heard Rob ask my permission for Callie's hand in marriage, which was amazing. And then we all sat here and waited for them to turn up and they went to visit his mum first. I, was like, I can't believe that. I'm sat here. YouTube is waiting for you. The entire world is waiting to find out. Well, of course she said yes and it's a very very pretty ring and it's one that she wanted she, she'd seen it and gone oh and i said when a ring makes you do that that's the one you've got to get so i've had a couple of new piercings done i had this one done which is your outer conch that's on the flat bit of this this part and i've also had my um anti trachus done which is on that little loopy bit there so yeah healing up quite nicely yeah Want another one? <laughs> I can't mm. afford to get new tattoos. So, um, Isis went and had her hair done. Um, had a weird day that day. Very weird day that day. Um, I went up to... Oh, uh, yeah, we overslept. We just got to school on time. Um, I sent a parcel off to Barbara, and I can't wait until she opens it. I've sent her loads of, like, touristy leaflets. That's 49 dragonflies. Um, touristy leaflets about the other fights. So and one comes in here. One comes in here. Um, I did a, I, now, now, this is where I really started getting into putting more into my journal to make it that much more junky. So I started off and I did a Kit Kat um, wrapper and a teacup and post relax because that's what you're doing. You have a break and you have a Kit Kat. And then I did a book review. I've got to do another one because I've almost finished a book. So if I get 20 minutes quiet, to listen to it i can do another book review today which is the next one in the series um i did a stamp here but i used the wrong color really i mean it looks okay in real life it doesn't really transpose well on camera but it's oh it's a, such a gorgeous stamp such a gorgeous set. it was a new one that came in and i was like oh i have to get it so this was the stamp set that came and i was like oh it's beautiful um i got this on aliexpress um so yeah that's the uh the, uh, the one that I stamped but I love that one too and all I've done with it is that the packaging that's usually got a little flappy bit at the top I cut the top off yeah as you can see as I get the fingers underneath it I cut the top off and I cut out a little thumb notch as well just so that I can get in and out of it Okay. No. this is the packaging that it normally comes in and i've literally i just cut the top off and i made it slightly shorter so that i can slot the stat on in and out because after a while where you peel it off a lot one side gets a bit loose and um this just helps hold it all together really so yeah it just slots in quite nicely and i've done that with a lot of my stamps and I also, the ones that didn't have the packaging still because I'd thrown it away, what I did was I got... Yeah, so I need to do it with this one because I haven't done it with this one yet. I used um, the same punch pockets that I used in my ephemera folder and I made pockets out of them instead as well. So I spent a good couple of days doing that. That was good fun. Um, but yeah, most of them have now got pockets. That one doesn't, so I need to put that in a pocket so, i'm getting there but yeah i love this stamp is 
absolutely stunning. I'm well pleased with this. So, I mean, it says like um, snowflakes are winter's butterflies. So really, this is actually a, a, like a winter stamp, but I quite like the fact that it's not. You can use it all year round. You just can't, you know. Just, I mean, even the snowflakes are really cool because they're actually little butterflies, which I quite, I love. I love it. I love it. I can see me using that stamp loads. So yeah, that was that day. And as you can see, I've started putting paint down on the pages. At first, I just did a little bit. And then I was like, why am I only doing a little bit? Go nuts. So I did. I went nuts. Bidi bing. That's Instagram. So yeah, um, I did a little bit of background stencil here. I put a load of watercolour down. And then I did a little collage of just basically pick out the down Mom. knife. Had. So yeah. Um, Mom. Mom. Yeah. When snow comes down, all the ice, all the snow turns into ice and everything freezes. Oh, okay. Tell them that. Um, yeah, this day I... Um, I had a little bit of a down day, so I did myself a little, you know you can do it type spread um just did you got this uh it, it, a lot of it was due to, due to the fact that i've um applied to do a photography course at the college and i've been accepted which i'm really really proud of um and i just had a knock to my own personal confidence i had a few things go wrong at home and i just yeah so this was a got this. you can do this um this is a bag that my shampoo bars came in from lush so i just stuck it in here and i made a tag well this is a tim holtz tag and i just journaled on the back of it um yeah talking about daryl's phonics actually on that bit Yay. and then i journaled a little bit there yeah. did another spread hit my fitbit broke yeah my fitbit broke the screen came off um i was very very upset and uh, for a while the fitbit limped on um and i tried to keep it going but then it just died so i yeah i i, I didn't and i was like what the and fuck I was doing? she has a new one Shush! goodness sake she has a new so i was sort of like what the hell am i going to do what the hell am i going to do so on this day when i went to um that wasn't that day it was another day i went to when i went, actually went for my college interview i had to buy a new fitbit so yeah and i'm waiting for new strap to come because this is irritating my wrist like nobody's business this day i had parents evening i did a little bit of embossing i put down loads of watercolor i did a little collage enthusiastic that's what my that's what his teacher said about him i don't know where she got that from she said he was enthusiastic he gets on well he's got friends and all that kind of thing so yeah that's that's quite good check down a load more color here again um phoenix splash that says there that was um i went to wrestling training with alex um we had loads and loads of fun i got to play with my camera a lot more um really really enjoyed it and the reason i went was because on the thursday i had my college interview for getting on the course and this was a picture that i took and she said it, she said it was really really good um she was really really pleased with a lot of my photos but anyway, i'll get to that in a minute um yeah this was the first time he'd actually done this move on somebody else so it was really odd that everybody it just erupted in like whoa because he'd managed to do it it's a big high risk move um yeah it was a big big move he'd, he'd not done it on somebody before um his victim is lying there <laughs> so yeah um, and, and i just put this in because i finished the jar of blueberry jam and i like blueberry jam this was a postcard i'd received off somebody on one of the junk journal groups and he sent one back to her so yeah that was that was quite good um yeah next day was my interview she said i have a natural flair for photography i have a good eye um i seem to automatically do the rule of thirds which is fantastic um and yeah she said i'd like to offer you a place should you'll get an email very soon formally offering you the place i got the email the very next day so i was like yeah i'm going to college <laughs> i can't believe it. at 45 i will have a student loan and i'll be going to college i must be mad so yeah so i stuck a little i like college thing down here and i just did a little collage so yeah um this is friday um no this was saturday sorry um i just decided to pull this out of my stash because it was pretty so i stuck it in oh, why not and we had a kisses 
Give me the kisses. Give me kisses. So lots more colour down and a bit of washi along the bottom. I like this because you can cut this up and use it like postage stamps, which is quite cool. So yeah. Sunday. <laughs> I I printed this off. This is cut out and stuck in. And um wrote are you my mummy if you're a doctor fan you, you'll know the reference um and i also stamped underneath you can't see it very well it says don't panic because i did it in um vintage photo and this guy this is basically um regarding the covid19 that's going around the world at the moment this and guy. if you don't know what that is then where the fuck have you been but yeah that and, um, guy i, I sewed a bit of a thing on and I, I was really really proud of it until i turned the page and saw how wonky my stitching went it started off beautifully and the idea was was that i was going to try and do it in a straight line this stuff curls naturally due to the fact that it's a ruffle so i was having to try and feed my entire book and keep this straight and that all under the uh, it was it was a nightmare it was a nightmare but it looks really good it just disappears slightly underneath but i quite like it so it's lovely it's broad 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 ray anglais they call it i think so yeah and this was yesterday um I did a heart with flowers coming out of it. Um, I couldn't find a pair of lungs. I have got one that's got a pair of lungs in, so that might go in today. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do today my boujo knot, and then I'm going to show you, basically, I'm just going to chuck some colour down, ready for today. So, yeah, we'll get on with it. Excuse the boo boo boom It's Instagram. Right. Oh, you forgot this guy. Yes, he made Forky from... No, it's you, you made it. Yes. Go and play, please. Ricky. Oh, God, I don't know why I've missed doing this for him in the bloody room. Okay, so... um, I've got a feeling that's that day. Yeah, so this is the 15th. Okay, so let's... Um, we'll do that in a minute. Let's catch up with this. So, let's see. On the 15th. Pause! Pause. August. Go on then. Go get it. So, on Sunday. Yeah, we were at home. It was okay, I guess. I'll open it. Yesterday I had a good day. No, you won't. I'll open it. Thank you very much. It's not addressed to you. Is that it? Yeah. Is that all it was? Shit. But I'm waiting for some post. Oh, I know what else I've got to write in as well. Yesterday we watched the new Lion King. And what did we think of the Lion King? Um, good. It was good, wasn't it? Mm hmm. I loved it. Lion King 2019 yeah we really enjoyed it it was pretty it, actually it was almost exactly the same as the cartoon but it was just that much more magical because they were real CGI but you know what I mean he really loved it I really loved it I super loved it you super loved it did you yeah I don't know about that I know that I'm expecting some parcels and they're in England so oh boy Okay, so yesterday, <coughs> yesterday, How are we doing? I did my day face cream okay. and I wore makeup. Yeah. I haven't actually done any challenges this year. Uh, so I did have some caffeine. Dark. I didn't have any booze. I had chips. Didn't craft. We did some homework. Took my meds and I did my night routine. So I've decided this will be reordered as of next month because there are, I've still got this set up for um, two adults and one child and I'm doing a lot less actually. It's amazing how much less there is to do when there's one less adult in the house. Um, um, like vacuuming downstairs, that doesn't really need to be done twice a week. I can get away with doing that once a week. I also want to move um, a lot of the stuff that I usually do at the weekend. I want to move that to a Monday, a Monday or Tuesday because... It's easier to do it when Daryl's not home, really. 
um, trying to vacuum downstairs when there's toys everywhere is just almost impossible. Um, yeah, my thought is that a lot of the stuff that's here on the Sunday, I could move that to the Monday or the Tuesday and get it done and then have less housework to do at the weekend when Daryl's home. Obviously, during the holidays, it's, uh, it's a little bit different, you know, um, but maybe I could get into training while he's off for the next two weeks and then off for two weeks for Easter. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah. Right. Now we're going to today. So, so far today, I have put on my face cream this morning. We're going to pull a card. I'm going to pull a card for today. And tonight, I'll pull one for tomorrow. Okay, so we've got the Knight of Wands. One of the best um, quotes I ever heard was um, during Men in Black. And there's a bit where Kay has told jay all about it and jay says well, why don't you tell people you know pe people people have a right to know you know pe people people are are intelligent and he said people are intelligent a person is intelligent people are idiots or something along those lines um and it's the it's it, what it's basically talking about is the mob mentality okay um this is um i i don't like this card because it insinuates that anybody who rides a motorcycle is a hooligan um i grew up on the back of a motorcycle my dad was a biker um and he was he was your typical hairy ass biker you know leather jacket and all that lot and he was not a hooligan neither were any of his friends they were all very very nice blokes um and i grew up with them and they were lovely men and um they looked after me you know so i don't like this card on that principle alone but it shows a young man racing about on a bike. He's not wearing a crash helmet, which here in England is the law. I know it's not in the US, but here in England you have to. And he's riding around waving a wrench in the air. There are people in the background. You can tell by this expression, it's, you know, that person is shocked. These people don't seem quite so shocked. They think this is great. They think this is fantastic. That is what mob mentality does. You have your people who are scared and you have your people who egg on the troublemakers okay this is quite appropriate this card for the moment um you may well be feeling very very anxious about what is going on in the world right now due to covid19 that's very understandable don't panic okay um if you are otherwise reasonably healthy then you're fine Okay, you're absolutely fine. If you're immune, immuno uh, compromised, that's what I don't know. I was going to go compressed, but I knew that wasn't right. If you're immunocompromised, um, if you're pregnant, if you are over the age of 70, then here in England, the rule is that you need to self-isolate for 12 weeks. Okay. If you, like me, you have a little bit, I've got a bit of a stuffed up nose, I've caught cold from him. You need to isolate for 14 days self-isolate you and your household need to self-isolate 14 days there are ways and means around how how are we going to survive oh you know there are shopping deliveries post is still delivering everything is still running everything is still operating it's just things like schools clubs and all that lot we, we we've been advised to not meet up in you know crowds don't go visiting if if you know there's somebody who is at is in those at-risk stages stay calm Okay, don't be this person. Don't be this person rushing around trying to incite fear and violence in others. Be the one that's calm. Okay? Keep your head while all those about you are losing this. I've put fear, anxiety, mob mentality. Everyone is scared. Don't be like them. Keep calm and carry on. We're up to date on that one. Let's put in my sleep for last night. I sleep very good last night. You slept very good last night, did you? Yeah, I had a bad dream. Yeah, but you didn't wake up. Yes, I did. Not till this morning, you didn't. I've cleaned the loo. Oh. I'll check the laundry. Right, today is the day that my bins go out. 
so I will do the jobs that I haven't done over the past couple of days I need to vacuum downstairs so we're going to tidy up in a minute and get on with that so oh, yeah. tonight huh? we're going to set up week 12 okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay some watercolour down oh, ready yeah. for tonight's page I'm not going to tidy okay? up my room uh, yeah you are I'm not going to fight you you're going to tidy up downstairs first Oh, yeah. I need to colour in yesterday. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you're doing like an arty type page is your your watercolour has to go down first, okay? Because anything you add on top of that is going to add to it. So, like, um, if I'd coloured did this, I would have to be more careful doing my watercolour. So what I do is my watercolour goes down first and then I go around it. Now I use, um, I've got a jug of extremely dirty water here <laughs> and my little towel and I use a brush but I it's a wider brush and I just dunk it in and get it really, really, really wet. I'm going to go change this water. Right, so I've changed my water. So you want a, a jug or a jar or whatever of water. I've got my largest brush and I don't squeeze, I just use the water that's in there. I think, I think I'm good. I reordered my palette. I didn't like the fact that it wasn't in like colour order. So it's, it's all pretty and in order now. Did this the other night and I redid. And I also thought as well, I need to redo my swatches because my swatch was on regular paper and it needs to really be on top of my river paper so I can see how it's going to come out. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do in the blue spectrum. Maybe in paler, some paler colours. Or should we do greens? Hmm. I did purple last yesterday. So I think we'll do blues today. Do greens for tomorrow. And literally all you want to do is you want to make your, your brush quite nice and wet for this. And I'll choose a little bit of ice. And then you... you Splosh it on and it does make it quite wet and then literally just splosh it into place. You can't see that one very well because it is a very, 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 very light colour. You don't want any lines, okay? So you want quite... I'm going to go to a slightly darker colour so that when it comes to blending, it blends in quite a lot so that you don't have that look of there being... Also, something that helps to put some underneath. More water you put down the more translucent is that the kind of word I'm looking for I like to do it coming out in like a mandala type sort of the thing with Tomo Rupert once it dries you do end up with your lines if you're not careful so, right, so let's move up to the next colour I don't use a dryer to um, dry my colour mainly because I like it to pull because as it pulls it um makes like darker swatches of colour. If you put some underneath, then it will not matter if you make a mess. This is Blue Lagoon by Eclectic Scribbles. It's one of the only two colours of hers that I still use. Oh no, three because I've got gold nugget in here as well. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more for a little bit more, you know, darker sort of colour if that's what you want. I may well draw a mandala on this page, I don't know. You just have to sort of go and see what strikes your fancy. There you go, and that's it. Now all you need to do is leave that to dry. And I'll come back in a little bit later before tonight. And what I do then is I will do the other side of the page in different colours, mainly because when the paper gets wet, I use fountain pens to write with. Um, it pulls the ink through if the paper's very, very wet. And I don't want to be able to see this side on the other side. So when this page is dry, I'll come back in and I'll do some more colour. Um, I'll probably tack it on the end of the video. And it'll be ready for tonight for me to do whatever I want to do here. Yeah? And, and we'll get on with it then. So yeah, I'll see you a bit later on. So it didn't take too long for that to dry naturally on its own. I left it alone for about 10, 10 minutes or so dry it all the way through you don't want any dampness okay for when you go to do the other side i don't i will be honest i've never used proper watercolor paper so i don't know how that reacts 
this is Tomway River paper okay that's 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 the, all the advice I'm giving you is if you're working with Tomway River paper okay you do not want any dampness when you go to do your next page and I always do two sides to the sheet <coughs> um, before I start filling it in because if I have um, if I've if I left that and I filled it in and I did my black pen up here for my numbers and I coloured that in and then I wrote my fountain pen all down here and I then go and saturate this side with water even though it doesn't go through it pulls the ink into the page and the fountain pen shows up more on this side whereas if I watercolour this page first and allow this side to dry when I come to write on it as you can see from previous pages it doesn't come through okay I have done it in the past where it has come through due to that the only thing is is that as you can see that's nice and um, um, thin it seems pen seems to write thicker on paper that's already been watercolored I don't know why that's funny I don't know why okay so I think I'll do green on this side why not Out my little thingy of water. I've got my paint over here. I just can't get it all in unless I zoom out. But I don't want to do that. Okay, so I've got some nice greens all down here. Um, I've got quite a lot of green actually, which is funny because I'm not normally a green person. I've got some underneath, and then it won't accidentally end up on any of the other pages. You don't want when you're doing it for your lines to be sh you, you don't want like a harsh border do you know what I mean you want to blend your colours in together move that back up there out of the way otherwise I'm going to knock it over I know I am when you're doing like a watercolour type page the wetter you make it the easier it is to blend your colours together you can see here I let that dry a little bit too quick um so it it's harder to pick it up and get it going again without compromising the paper and by that i mean making the paper rough and difficult to work with if you want your colors to be slightly darker don't use quite so much paint or do more layers for example I'd love that to be a little bit darker so I'm just going to dampen my brush pick up a little bit more paint really splodge it on you know now this will need longer to dry because it is so wet okay and it is just a question of leaving it now to dry if i use a dryer it's gonna um it will blow the paint around i've also got to be careful that it doesn't actually will end up dripping it will because it's so wet it will blow the the water around and you won't get that lovely pooling effect that you get when paint dries so yeah i'm just going to let that dry now and uh that be it and tonight I will decorate one of the pages I'm going to prop this up ever so slightly just to um, stop it all like ending up in the spine put really. a thumbs up so that's it for uh, from us today put a thumbs up what was next? what's next leave us comments why because if because we like comments yeah because click the book subscribe down below and you hit the bell subscribe down below you know when they are new you, you content for those of you that don't understand five for talk if you click the book down in the bottom hand corner you will be subscribed if you then hit the bell that appears down below you'll be notified when we upload new content they've changed it though so if you click it and little lines don't appear around it you won't get notified it just means that you're subscribed <laughs> if you click the bell again a little pop-up menu should um appear and it should say um something like all personal or none 
Oh, okay, so if you click all, you will be notified every time I upload a video. If you click personal, shh, you'll only be notified if I say reply to you on on one of my videos. If you click none, you won't get any notifications whatsoever. So it's entirely up to you. Thank you so, so much for joining us today. We really, really do appreciate it. I will be back tonight. I'll do a live tonight and um, you won't be here because you'll be in bed asleep. Out of the way, hopefully. And I'll say hello. You might come down and say hello. We'll see. Um, okay, so we're going to leave um, it there. Okay. And I will see you tonight in the live, which I will set up right away. <laughs> and um, <laughs> hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Take it easy, guys. We love you loads. <laughs> I was fun. Yeah, you were